California is home to the Spaceship, also known as Apple Park. Apple's current and former campuses are currently known as Steve Jobs Theatre and Apple Park. There is no doubt whatsoever that Apple Park is the largest of Apple's many amazing products. The dazzling headquarters was one of the final ideas presented by Apple's late CEO Steve Jobs. The ring-shaped building represents Apple's dedication to design and technology. The current corporate headquarters of Apple is a true sight to behold. Apple Park is located in Cupertino, California. It was open to employees in April 2017, but construction wasn't yet completed. The massive building has a crazy value of $4.17 billion and it is completely powered by renewable sources of energy. Designed as a circular groundscaper by Norman Foster, the ever so popular structure has been referred to as a spaceship by many. No, seriously, it looks like a flying saucer. This mega building sits on a suburban land site which totals to 175 acres. The interior of the futuristic spaceship design features a central, four-story design with three underground floors which homes 2.8 million square feet and a total of around 12,000 employees within. With a nature type take, around 80% of the site consists of green space with drought resistant trees which are native to the surrounding area. Let's take a look at the precise design and massively plotted interior of this impeccable edifice. The first notable feature seen on the outer side of the circular design is the massive campus that is entirely windowed by curved paneled glass. 845 foot rounded panels to be exact. Advertised as a perfect circle by Apple themselves, the inner rim and outer rim of each story has left open walkways for the employees. The campus spans one mile in total circumference with a diameter of 1,512 feet. When designing this beast, Apple made life-size mock-ups of the entire building for the sake of analyzing possible design issues. Many of the parking spaces and roads are hidden underground for the simplistic sake of the employees. Areas of the campus directed towards the inner courtyard use only glass for its walls. Along with all the green glass in the outer region which faces the exterior of the building. Roughly 83,000 square feet of the interior is utilized for important meetings and breakout spaces. The middle courtyard of the building is a 30-acre park which showcases a built pond, fruit trees, and winding pathways. When originally designing the incredible edifice, Steve Jobs made it very clear that he wanted a sleek, natural-looking building with a clean-cut finish. Apple worked with a total of 19 construction companies from different countries for designs and materials during the creation of the spaceship. Concrete slab floors surround the building and ceilings. In total, 4,300 concrete slabs were used to construct this massive structure. Many of these stone slabs weighed over 50,000 pounds and were over 20 feet in size. The structure is larger than many notable landmarks, including the Pentagon. The main campus is also widely recognized as one of the most energy efficient buildings worldwide. The main building, Steve Jobs Theatre and the Fitness Center are LEED Platinum Certified. In 2018, Apple made the big switch to be entirely powered by renewable energy. There are many solar panels on the roof, which alone can power the massive enclosure up to 75% during the peak of the day. The rest of the power needed by the campus is generated by server fuel cells, which are powered by biofuel or natural gas. The design allows air to travel freely throughout and provides a natural vent ventilation system, which totally negates the need for any HVAC systems. Overall, the design for this building was carefully pieced together by the best architects in the world. Apple's newest headquarters is an absolute palace. There are a number of other structures located in Apple Park most notably the Steve Jobs Theatre. The theatre is a 165-foot diameter cir circular glass design with no visual outdoor roof supports. The roof is put together using carbon fiber, 80 tons of it. Underneath the structure is home to the iconic auditorium which can comfortably seat 1,000 people. Apple's Visitor Center is another example of structural finesse. This center is divided into four main sections and overlooks the entirety of the campus. It includes a 10,000 square foot Apple store, a 2,000 square foot cafe, 
an observational view deck, and an AR experience area. Through this AR, you can experience the full-scale model of Apple Park on an iPad with the software installed. Glen Denning Barn is restored and used for extra storage space on the campus. Its original purpose was to house apricot, cherry, and prune orchards. This barn now stands as a symbol for the community at Apple Park. The structures on campus are the ultimate workspace for the thousands of employees Apple Park must house. Apple also wanted the rare design to attract visitors from all around the world. All in all, the Apple Park is just an astonishingly developed piece of land. The neo-futurism style design is seen by many as rethinking the thought of aesthetics and functionality, especially in growing cities with high infrastructure demand. Not only is Apple's astonishing headquarters shaping the future of architecture, but it's saving the earth by going green. There's absolutely no doubt the spaceship-like edifice is shaping the future of innovation. It's a fact. Apple is possibly the most tech-advanced corporation in the entire world, and they still have a long but very bright way to go. That was a look at the seven-floor, state-of-the-art Apple's headquarters and its 175-acre campus. If you got to, to this point of the video and enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.